When we speak to our customers, we hear that every single one of them works with DWGs from external sources, and that this can be a challenge, to say the least. Join Julie Kaverian, our North American Technical Manager, to see how BricsCAD can help you optimize DWG performance when working with DWGs from multiple sources. From resolving missing XREFs, to analyzing drawings, to annotating and outputting drawings, she'll show you just how easy BricsCAD B25 makes it to ensure drawing health and performance when working with DWGs from multiple sources. Julie, over to you. BricsCAD's new Open File dialog brings a modern toolset to drawing file management, and it probably looks familiar, just like many of the other Windows-based menus that you're using. Now, is there anything more annoying than opening a drawing and seeing those dreaded red triangles, meaning that the XREF paths have not been found? BricsCAD's Enhanced Extended Search looks in more than two subfolders to find those correct paths or locate a single drawing and let BricsCAD apply the same path for the other missing attachments. With the XREF paths resolved, let's look at the interior layout. Well, it's missing a few doors. BricsCAD offers several workflows to add doors, including the traditional copy command that we've been using for decades. However, this method requires additional trim work. A smarter and easier workflow is to use Copy Guided, which automatically aligns the door with geometry. When only the door is selected, you have control to place it exactly where you want, either by visually positioning it or by entering specific values. The selection set of the door impacts what you are copying, so when the T-wall is included in the selection, the door is placed at the same distance from matching T-walls, smarter by potentially reducing errors and definitely faster and easier. Well, now we have too many doors. Move Guided acts like an eraser, moving the door out of the wall and automatically healing the wall lines. Copy Guided and Move Guided have several other options and work on most entities. Here is a single line diagram for the fire alarms. The monitor module symbol is missing in the bottom line, specifically here and here. Using Copy Guided, you can quickly copy the symbol into the correct location. And notice the space between the symbol and the line on the right is maintained. Now this is all well and good, but these symbols should be blocks. And traditionally, we could create a new block, delete the existing line work, and insert that new block, as we've done again for decades, or use Blockify and let BricsCAD do the work. In V25, we've updated the Blockify command panel with all the options and expanded search capabilities, making Blockify smarter than ever. Currently, we need to match the existing fire alarm block New in V25 is the ability to choose where to look for that matching block, whether in the drawing, BricsCAD library, or a folder of your choice. How smart is that? BricsCAD finds five sets of geometry to convert to a block. You can decide which entities to convert, all of them, some of them, or none of them. When receiving drawings from external sources, we never quite know what we might get, right? So let's look at the fire alarm layout drawing. It's a small drawing. And here again, we're going to see that the alarm symbols are no longer blocks. Ugh. Now what else needs to be fixed in this file? And more importantly, how do I know what might need to be fixed in a drawing I'm not very familiar with? First, we need to analyze the drawing with Drawing Explorer. It provides insight into the drawing. And here's a summary of the styles and content in the drawing. Now I'm suspicious about 600 blocks in this small drawing. The detail information about the blocks lets us see how many times a particular block's been inserted into the drawing or if it's been inserted at all. So this could be why there are so many blocks in the drawing. 
And we can search for Glock names. Let's search for starting with FA for the fire alarms. And here is the block. It's only been inserted once into the drawing. But now, how do I find that one block in the drawing? Well, we can use the Structure Browser. This is a non-graphical tree view of the drawing. By default, it's organized by layers, just like our drawing is. But the power of the Structure Browser is that you can change how it organizes the data. We're looking for a particular block, so let's organize the Structure Browser by block name instead of layers. This makes it easy to search for block starting with FA. Here it is, and we can zoom to its location right within the drawing. So we found the block in the drawing, now what? BricsCAD includes smart tools to make quick work out of repetitive tasks. And many of these tasks can be grouped together in a drawing health routine and simultaneously run against the drawing. In V25, managing routines is smarter with the ability to provide descriptions to those routines. And the command panel's been updated, providing more interaction so you can make smart decisions during the routine. Let's run one. Here you have full control to purge blocks, styles, and more from the drawing. Next, let Audit analyze and fix any drawing errors. Drawing Health finds all these duplicate blocks, and you control which block to keep or delete. If you're unsure about a specific block, zoom to the location in the drawing before making your decision, or let BricsCAD decide. And again, here is Blockify. This time it found 47 matches. Think about how long it would take you to replace the existing entities with a block in the right location, in the right orientation, 47 times. Now, after this particular routine, this file was reduced in size by about 75%. And the number of blocks was reduced from over 600 to 83. Because remember, a healthy drawing not only saves you time and aggravation, but also storage space. Are my new fire alarm blocks on the wrong layer? Hmm, I think so. Mistakes happen, but what's important is how easily they can be fixed. With rollover tips, it takes no time at all to move all the blocks to the correct layer in one click. Now, what else can we do with this block? Well, it should be available for use by others in the company. One way to share it is by adding it to a palette which can be quickly done via the Drawing Explorer. Additionally, you can specify the correct layer it should be placed on from the properties to eliminate future mistakes. Speaking of blocks, we've received the kitchen equipment layouts from the consultants. A saved model view was created for each of the workstation layouts and each piece of equipment is represented by a block, and those have already been added to our palette. We need to count the blocks, generate a table, and add pricing information to the table. There are several ways to do this in BricsCAD. I'm using an Autolist routine that automates the process and creates a fully editable table. BricsCAD V25 continues to enhance functionality around table creation and editing. It now supports Excel-like formulas for, say, subtotals and totals. These formulas can be easily copied from cell to cell, just as you'd expect. And here, these formulas update based on the information in the cells. We've made V25 more familiar by adding viewport, standard, scale, and annotation scale fields to the new status bar. Now the annotation scale is also saved with your model space views, ensuring you always know that the scale that that view was created. Adding the viewport scale controls to the status bar allows the layout scale to be simply set, or you can add the viewport scale to your rollover tips for another quick way of editing. 
Remember the table with the kitchen equipment blocks? Well, we've added all the blocks to that table now. And it's easy to create the needed table breaks to fit the paper space viewport and also customize the display of the table from spacing options to repeating the top or bottom labels. This drawing represents a reflected ceiling plan featuring various hatch patterns. However, the hatch patterns are a bit of a mess, meaning that some areas are missing boundaries, making it challenging to edit the existing hatch. Other areas are not properly hatched, meaning that text, blocks, and other entities are included in the hatch. So let's explore the improvements made in V25 to address these types of challenges. Here we see an XREF and the hatch pattern itself, but no boundary. It's a bit difficult to select one or the other, but new in V25 is selection cycling, which makes it simple to select overlapping entities in BricsCAD. Now you can clearly hover over each entity and see it highlighted, which makes it easy to make the appropriate selection. And here's another improvement. Once selecting the hatch, Right-click to bring up the new context-sensitive hatch edit menu to easily create a boundary around those existing hatch patterns. Selection cycling now shows all three entities, and we can easily fix or edit the hatch to exclude the blocks and text. Now that's an easy fix. Down below here, I'm not quite sure what happened with the polyline boundary, but no worries. Building on previous BricsCAD releases, we're thrilled to introduce enhanced editing capabilities for P-line vertices and segments. You can now effortlessly add and delete multiple vertices, and we've incorporated a preview feature that allows you to visualize those changes before finalizing your edits. Now that's both smart and user-friendly. With the P-line boundary fixed, it can be stretched over to the wall at the right and then add the hatch pattern. And now this room, the hatch is complete. When it's time to share drawings with project teammates, BricsCAD V25 continues to offer easy and familiar choices. eTransmit now includes the choice to bind or insert XRefs. It's available here through Sheetset Manager, from Drawing Explorer, or simply type in eTransmit at the command line. You choose the file format, the output type, file folder, and structure. Remember though, you just may want to run these drawings through Drawing Health again before sending them out. Publishing workflows are also familiar, whether you publish from here, Sheetset Manager, the Layout Manager, or the Publish command. You decide which workflow is best for you. Thank you, Julie. Now, I hope this brief presentation has given you an idea of just how easy BricsCAD can make the process of optimizing your drawings for health and performance, no matter where they come from. And this just scratches the surface of the great new functionality we've introduced in V25. To learn more, check out these other breakout sessions. Thanks again for joining us, and you guys take care now. Thank <laughs> you.